Today I'm going to talk about a death metal album, and it is Slowly We Rot by the band Obituary. The album was released on June 14, 1989. It is celebrating 35 years. It was released on the Roadrunner label and produced by Scott Burns. I'll talk more about Scott Burns later because he is a very important person in death metal. In this video, I'll be talking about the history of the band, the album details, the song analysis, the lyrics, and the themes. So let's start with uh, the history. The band formed in 1984. And they were influenced by what was like the most extreme uh, metal bands at that time. The original name of the band was Executioner, but they discovered there was another band with the same name called Executioner. So instead of changing their name, they changed it to Executioner, but they just removed the first E and spelt it the way I have it right here. But then they said, hey, let's uh, <laughs> change the name again. So they changed it to Obituary, and that was in 1980. In the original lineup, it was John Tardy on lead vocals, Donald Tardy on drums, Trevor Perez on rhythm and guitar, Jerome Gravel on bass, and Jerry Tidewell on lead guitar. Their main influences were Venom and Celtic Frost, because those were the heaviest bands at the time. But also there were two new bands that were local bands in the Florida scene, and they were Death, which had the album uh, Scream Bloody Gore, and Morbid Angel, which had just released uh, Altars of Madness. Uh, so they got ready to release their uh, debut album called Slowly We Rot. They had got a new b bass player named Daniel Tucker and a new guitarist named Alan West. And this album was produced by Scott Burns. Scott Burns was a very important person in death metal. He produced albums like uh, Leprosy by Death, Beneath the Remains by Sepultura, albums by Cannibal Corp and Deicide. This album is death metal, but they tuned the guitars with standard tuning, but they did it in a way that kept things very heavy. There are 12 songs in the album. They're 35 minutes long. And the album talks about mostly like death metal stuff. Death, like bodies uh, decomposing. Also the theme of rotting away, but they do it literally like a corpse rotting away. Also in a way of your life can be rotting away by the choices you make. So they talk about that kind of stuff. So I'm going to go in... Uh, track by track now, and I'll play some clips of uh, some of the songs as I go through, so uh, let me get into that. The album opens with a song called Internal Bleeding. This one has a very ominous intro. Uh, it almost sounds like this creature is like lurking in the distance. When you hear John Tardy's uh, vocals, uh, you're gonna notice they're very distinct. To me, I've always said they sound like a zombie, like if a zombie was like, leading a death metal band, that's what they would sound like. This song has lots of chugging guitar riffs and tempo changes. The second track is Godly Beat. This one has fast drum beats and the guitars sound like buzz saws, but you can also notice that in the guitar riffs, there is a bit of like a groove sound, so I always thought that was pretty cool. The third song was called Till Death. This one has a slow build-up, like it starts slow, but I noticed that this uh, song mixes death metal and thrash metal elements, so that was interesting. It also has like a standard drum beat, but also the tempos change a lot, so there's also the, like blast beats. And the guitars well. are just very distorted, and they create these like fuzzy soundscapes. Then we have the song Slowly We Rot, that's the title track. This one has some slow and heavy guitar riffs, and I think that's something that's very notable about this song. And the vocals are very heavy, but they're understandable, so you can like understand what John Tardy is saying. Then we have Immortal Vision. This one has lots of uh, frequent tempo changes, and the vocals are very intense, and they're very vile. Then we have a song called Gates of Hell. This one is very fast. It's furious. Just straightforward uh, death metal. Uh, the rhythm, it's pretty cool. Lots of mid-paced sections. And it kind of has a balance between like the very extreme stuff and like the slower stuff. We have a song called Words of Evil. This one has some haunting riffs. It has some varied uh, speeds, different tempos. Then there's a song called Suffocation. This one has some extreme thrash metal elements. Even though this is all death metal. But I'm saying that when you listen to this album, you're going to hear some thrash in it. And the guitar is very awesome. you got like some chugging, blazing solos. And then we have the song Intoxicated. It's a mix of groove, 
thrash and death metal. Uh, John Tardy continues with his zombie-like growls, and I really like that. Kind of like, I like just listening to him. He's very distinct. And we have track number 10 called The Deadly Intentions, and this one has varying uh, changes. Uh, lots of great, impressive lead guitar work. I really like that aspect of it. And then track 11 is Blood Soaked. This one has some mid-tempo riffs. Uh, they like to put sound effects in their songs. Uh, you know, you can hear different things. If you listen with headphones, you can hear a lot of different things. And that thick, like, death metal guitar sound. I really like that. I thought this song uh, resembles something on Death's, like, Leprosy album. It has that, like, particular sound, those types of guitar riffs. And the rhythm changes frequently. The last album, the last song is called Stink Puss. And I'm guessing it refers to a rotting corpse, but it's kind of a weird name but the song is consistent with like the rest of the album so i think this is a good like entry point for newcomers to death metal it has a very distinct sound it's like recognizable it's uh unique and i think if you're somebody who is uh you know heavy metal you might know the big names you know metallica judas priest but you've never listened to death metal before i think this is a good like starting point because there are other bands that we call like the Florida metal scene, the big four of uh, death metal, the popular bands. Uh, some of them are like Morbid Angel, Deicide. Like I find those bands very like a little like less accessible, but I find uh, bands like Death and Obituary to be like a little more accessible. So if you like Thrash, I think this is a good uh, band to uh, check out because it's kind of like Thrash, but they're taking it to the next level where it's death metal if that makes any sense so if you're looking to get into death metal i recommend uh, checking out obituary let me also say that uh this is probably one of their best albums one of the best death metal debuts uh i probably like the next two albums uh, better i think they like wrote better songs and they had some better production on the next uh, two albums but i'll talk about those i'll do other videos uh and the future on those eventually. I did a review of their latest album from 2023. I'll stick that there. And I also did a ranking. Uh, I think it was actually a tier list. And I'll stick that one right there. Thanks for watching. Please like this video. It helps me with the YouTube algorithm. Please subscribe if you have not already. I do rock and metal reviews, uh, rankings, and more. Thanks for watching. And uh, I will uh, see you in the next one.